Hello everyone. I'm here at the sky deck of KL Tower and uh, I just want to show you a lot of the really amazing views. Uh, this is by far the best part of the KL Tower I've ever seen. I've been to the observ observation deck before but the views here are really breathtaking. Um, so I just want to show you show you these views. Um, yeah, so basically you can see pretty much all of Kuala Lumpur or at least the uh, at least you can see the really uh, famous parts from here uh, and I want to show you just point out some of the views uh, so down there it looks like uh, some kind of a football stadium if I'm not mistaken uh, so you can see lots of trees around which is really nice uh, there's some other kind of stadium which I don't know what that's for uh, and there are lots of people filming up here but again the views are really amazing And so this observation, excuse me, this is the sky deck. The sky deck, you can see there's nothing above us except some sort of steel, steel girders. So you can literally see the sky from here. There's no windows that are uh, sort of uh, preventing us from looking up like on the observation deck or at least uh, obscuring the view. This is, you know, the pure view of the sky. And again, this is the KL Tower, the sky, sky deck. Um, and definitely, I think the, the money is worth it. I believe the ticket costs uh, 99 ringgit for, one, for an adult. And as, um, Definitely, it's worth it to to get the uh, sky um, sky deck ticket, in my opinion, because the views are amazing. And I've I've made another video where I uh, use the selfie camera and I give lots of commentary. But this video is mainly just to show you the amazing views. Okay, and now my one of my favorite parts of Kuala Lumpur, probably my favorite is the Petronas Towers. You can see an amazing view of the Petronas Towers there. And uh, Four Seasons Hotel right next to it. And I'm leaning over this sort of glass protection thing, but uh, you can see here that if you pretty much climb over it, uh, and then you climb over that, you would be leaping to your death from 300 meters. But thankfully this is very strong glass, so I don't think you should feel worried. Um, so again, that's just, to me these views are just breathtaking. Uh, we've got all these amazing hotels. And uh, possibly there's someone filming a movie next to me, I'm not sure. TV show, there's uh, 
some film crew next to me that uh, so anyway th that's the Paternus Towers that's the Four Seasons Hotel down there look like a bunch of houses um, let's see if I can point out a few more that that green building down there it looks that one there that to me looks really nice I wish I knew what that was the green uh, green roof okay so it looks like the filming is done thankfully or at least temporarily done uh, this building there that looks like a new building being built I don't know what that is called Uh, and see there's a lot of people up here and on the sides of this uh, the filming there's some nice artwork but here I don't really but anyway you can see just the thing for the sky tower and the wings And it does appear to me that, like, I've walked past a few times, but it appears to me that there's actually, on that building there, there's a lot of people just sitting at the top for some reason. There's a Standard Chartered building. I'm a big fan of Standard Chartered. Um, let's see if I can notice a few more things. Um, hmm. Well, there's the Chubb building there. Uh, and yeah, just you can see here there's lots of. You can just see the life going on in Kuala Lumpur. There's a highway down there. Uh, and yeah, just the views are amazing. So it's probably closer to uh, 6 o'clock now. I, I don't actually know the time right now. Is, uh... Okay, and uh, it does look like there's some sort of abandoned building. I'm not sure what that is, but there are some cranes there also, so presumably they might destroy it. I don't know. There's a, this looks like a stadium there. Uh, some other... Uh, Stadium, I don't know. There's, um, see if I can point out a few other buildings. And I have noticed at least one church and at least one mosque. Uh, it definitely looks like there's a mosque down there. You can see the Islamic architecture. Uh, I wish I knew which mosque that was, though. And I do like that sort of a sail, sail design for a, a building. That reminds me of several other buildings that are famous worldwide. Like a building in London, and I think a building in Hong Kong. That sort of design. Uh, so it looks like there and there, there are two hotels. Look like nice hotels. Um, yeah, so we'll keep moving on. Now, I, I want to walk around this uh, sky deck a few times. It's, again, it, from, to me, it's just breathtaking. Okay, so these, this is one of the sky boxes. And this here is a, uh, just a wall that shows you some of the tallest towers in the world. I believe they also have this on the observation deck. Uh, and I've actually been to the, uh, where is it? This one. I've been to this one, Taipei 101. It used to be the tallest building in the world, but now I believe it's this one, the uh, Burj, Burj Khalifa. Uh, where is it? Burj Khalifa. It's in Dubai. So I believe that's the tallest building in the world. 
Though, so, uh, in just a few years' time, that'll probably change. It's always new. The uh, new tower, taller buildings being built all the time. Okay, here's the sign for the Kale Tower, Malaysia. Again, here's a skybox. And basically, the skybox is just something that you can uh, sit in and there's just glass below you. So, I don't know, maybe it can be a, a thrill too. Just uh, sit there and also get some good views. And the safety guidelines for the that. And as I've mentioned several times, I do think these views are quite breathtaking. Um, this by far has been one of the best things about Kale. And uh, way down there, there's a mosque. And it looks like there's yet another mosque down that way. Um, and yeah, the, the views just really are incredible. Down there, uh, right there, there's a the Sheraton Hotel. And yeah, so I think I want to show you just the Petronas Towers maybe one more time because KL Tower and Petronas Towers are my favorite places in KL, or the, my favorite buildings at least. Okay, so. We're walking through the cafe, and I just want to show you, here there's yet another skybox, uh, skybox one, okay, and now again, my favorite part of KL is the Petronas Towers, which again are those two. There's actually a bridge connecting the two. But they're part of the same, actually they're part of like the same building though. You can call them two different towers. So the, they are connected with a bridge. And again, the, this is really just breathtaking views in my opinion. Uh, we're at three, 300 meters above the ground, uh, so that's very, very high up. And, uh, yeah, so this was my video. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you could uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, and if you like the video, and also please like this video. And finally, if you'd like, leave a comment. And I'll end this video finally with just some uh, final views and then I'll close off. Okay, so I'm gonna be ending the video now and I hope you enjoyed.